You said while you were there, they took a pregnant woman. Well, there were about that's... four of them on this bike. Yeah, she it, was... that happens quite a lot. So the, the health centre is there and, and, and Comet Relief are to sort of show, so that we can get a better understanding of the broader problem across the whole of the continent there, um, their health needs. I mean, the health centre is just, it's just a building. Mm -hmm. There's no water, there's no power. So you get there, that's the place to go, but then if you're having a baby or you've got malaria, there's often women delivering babies by the light of a mobile phone. And it's when incredibly you, basic, so we, they're rebuilding that. We were talking to Nadia about, you know, being in the Big Brother house and how it puts things in perspective and, you know, looking to that, that young girl today has helped that pensioner raise all this money for him. Do, do things like that, I mean, it sounds like a cliche, but it's, does it really put it in perspective? So we're all here moaning about the National Health Service. It's been used as a huge mm. political football at the moment. And then you see, literally, women squatting down and giving birth on the floor. Yeah, the dirty well, of course it, it puts room. it in perspective. And that, that, again, is why Comic Relief is focusing on that one out of thousands across the, across the country. Because, uh, yeah, and you mentioned the National Health. That was the overriding thing that I took from it that we totally take it for granted. Mm. Yeah. Um, wherever you live in the I UK, if something goes ago, wrong... with Comet Relief to Kenya and the mm. Kazoot Desert, and, and I, I came back with it, I mean, just overwhelmed with what we have here. Like you say, eye operations being just on, a ta just, on a, just on a table. Yeah. We have, like, you know, with a bucket where they're pouring, mm. you know, just, just dropping the bloody bandages in, and they do phenomenal work. But the, have, to have that nothing. support always there, we went to look at a, a village where they had a, 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 a thing going on, it was all in the same district, and um, there was a, a bunch of kids came out to see us, it, it was school holidays, mm -hmm. so they were from about seven up to yeah. 14, and they were just running about the woods, having a great time looking at stuff. It mm -hmm. was frankly brilliant, mm -hmm. but watching them, and watching them as a parent, I thought, this is great, but the second something goes wrong, and there's quite a lot of ways to hurt yourself yeah, or get yeah, hurt. Yeah. There's malaria, yeah. there's any number of things. Suddenly, this idyllic, rather beautiful scene would become very, very different. Exactly. So, at the end of this project, the <clears> idea is you've rebuilt this, they then have new equipment, solar yes, power... Precisely. Yeah. And it's a, it's, it's a way in, I think, it's a doorway for us to understand. Because if we were to try and sit here or anywhere else and understand and just try and empathise with the problems facing healthcare across Africa. It's massive, massive. it's too big a subject. By looking at one place in particular and by through Operation Health, mm. funding the rebuilding of that, covering the cost. And how many people would that serve then? That yeah, it's about 24,000 in the area. Wow. But the wow. work's been done by local people. Yeah. The guy Gonza there is a local bloke and he's the, the, the lead architect. Fantastic. Took the Mickey out of me a lot while I was there. <laughs> that really? happens to you a lot. Do you know it does? <laughs> I, did, I did see the trail. <laughs> what did you say? I what just read say? what's there. I just read what's there. Who wrote that? Who wrote that? You're in trouble. I was wounded. Who wrote that, Emma? <coughs> Thank you, Emma. <laughs> I was wounded. But it is, I mean, if you, if you, if you, to get involved, it's going to be on the telly and on the Radio yeah, 1 yeah. all this week, That's actually. And it they is are... those films that really make people pick up the phone. Yeah. I think it does. Yeah. It's all about, isn't it? It's, it's empathy. I think it's in all of us to want to give, to want yeah. to help. But until you really empathise and mm. feel connected to it and understand, mm. well, it's, it's just meaningless. You've got to actually feel Sorry. compelled. 